Hi everybody, this is Dave from Viking Whitetails. Today I was going to show you how to uh, put a stealth screen on your stump blind. Before we begin, I washed the window inside and out, made sure it was clean so I have a clean surface to work with. And then, on the stealth screen itself, you're going to have to determine, by looking at the back of it, these two white spots kind of white patterns that are bigger than most of it, that's gonna be the top of your uh, stealth screen. So if you put it on like this on the window, it's gonna be upside down because there's a bunch of Banks logos on here and um, by having it the uh, right side up, you'll be able to see them the correct way when they're on. So the next thing I do is I prepare the window by misting it so if we have any reason to tear it off and put it on straight, which a lot of times you do, you start it out, you got to get it really square. And if you need to move it by misting it, you can do that without damaging this uh, stealth screen. So we got it misted. Now we need to, um, this is the, the, solid white sheet which is the back of the stencil so that's the part we're going to be tearing off and putting up against the window so you want to peel a couple inches off the top i'll show you when i get it peeled back i take about that much and i spray just a hair on it a little bit of water and then we go up to the window and we're going to be trying to get it level and centered. And sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you got to move it. Like I can see that's way off. So let's see what we got here. So we put her on and then what I do... I bring it all the way down with my hand. That gives you a good idea of how much distance you got on each side, how centered it is. So by looking at this, I think we need to go over just a little bit to the left. Let me grab a marker here. So I kind of mark it so I got reference when I move it. I don't lose where I'm at. Take a little, there's a little ridge here on each side that comes to an end. I go off of that and I just put a little mark. That way I know how far I moved it. So I'm going to be moving it to the right a little bit. So I can use that little line for reference. All right. Let's see if that was enough. Take it all the way back down. And I am pretty happy with the uh, how centered it is on both sides. So I'm going to kind of work this in just a little bit so it don't move on me. <clears throat> and um, while I peel it down a little bit, I'm going to hold it. Go about four or six inches. And then spray the back of the stealth screen. And then what I usually do, hold it down in the center, and I kind of squeegee it from the middle. And then I work my way to the sides on both sides. So we're just going to repeat that process until we get all the way to the end. And don't do too much at one time. That way when you squeegee it, you don't have more material than you need to work with and it ends up getting little pockets in it or something like that. All 
All right, you see we got this little uh, piece right here. That's kind of where you uh, separate the paper and tear it off. So when I'm squeegeeing, I want to make sure I don't rip that along with the... So I'll just go from the top of it and go down instead of going from above it and peeling it. All right, we should be able to do everything at the bottom now. Give it a little spray. Work it down. And once we get towards the end, I'm gonna go inside and unlatch it. I got it latched to hold it so it don't move while I'm doing the uh, squeegeeing of it. But as you can see at the very bottom, I'm gonna need a little bit more room to get it all flattened out. So I'm gonna run in and get that unlocked and come back out. All right, now we can open it up and uh, finish it off. All right. Now, since we got this, we're gonna utilize it for pulling. So I'm gonna take this and pull that all the way down. And then take the other side and work it up. All right, that's what it's gonna look like when you're done. And that's a, a nice stealth screen. I'll. Uh, Put the camera a little bit closer so you can kind of see maybe the perforation in the stell screen this is a 50 50 perforated vinyl so you can see through it quite easy from the inside and from the outside it's almost impossible to see in and this is good for when you're sitting in the blind and uh, you're moving around uh, deer they 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 always spot movement rather than see something and recognize what it is so if they see you moving in your blind you'll be busted but with these stealth screens on it's going to be nearly impossible for them to even detect there's anybody in that blind so if you have any questions please comment below and um, i'm going to try to post some other videos to uh, help you guys put your own accessories on I do put accessories on for customers at a cost, but uh, as you can see, there's not a lot to it. I mean, it takes a little bit of practice, but with this video, I'm hoping that that kind of helps you along a little bit. So anyways, Dave from Viking Whitetails, and uh, thank you. Thank you for watching.